Just, just to reiterate what we talked about yesterday, the domain is all possible x values, right? All possible x values. So for that reason, I think it's, it's good practice to scan left and right with a vertical pencil. So if you take your pencil left to right, you know, along the x-axis, kind of if you imagine this is a pencil left to right, that can, that, that's like a good visual. Also, if you think to the Desmos, remember those shaded regions for the vertical lines for our domain? So that's going to give us, you know, all possible x values if you kind of scan left to right, okay? For the range, that's going to be up and down. So we're going to scan top to bottom, kind of. That's, and so again, remember on the Desmos, making that shaded area, that's kind of what I want you to think about. So, uh, looking at number one, all right, do I have any volunteers? Just raise your hand on Zoom. I can see you. Any volunteers for number one to, to guess the domain, give their best guess, because we worked on this yesterday. What are we thinking? I'm looking for hands raised in, in Zoom. What's the domain for number one there, that V shape? Looking for someone to give me what they think the domain is. Remember, domain is all possible X values. All right, LS. Uh, is it all real numbers? Yes, all real numbers. I'm going to use the number symbol for notes just to make it fit. But yes, you can see that this is going to extend forever to the right, forever to the left. So if you go forever left, forever right, that's all the X's. All right? The range is going to be a little different, though, right? I'm going to have you help me here, Alex. Does the range go down, Alex, forever? On this? No. What's the lowest it goes? How low can it, it go? Can it go down low? All the way to the floor? Can it go no. down low? Negative what? 2. Neg okay. It goes as low as negative 2. So my y value in relation to that negative 2, Alex, does it need to be above or below that? Above. Yeah. Does negative 2 work? No. The answer is yes. So here's the deal, Alex. Here's why. A solid line like this, everywhere on the line's a point. So there is a point right here. Okay, there is a point right there. We just, when it's a, when it's a continuous line like that, we don't do dot, 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 dot. We, that's why we do the continuous line, all right? So a good mistake, Alex. I appreciate that. All right, Brinker, you're going to help me with the domain on this next one, number two. So, again, we're going to scan our pencil left to right, kind of, vertically, up and down. Um, so, what are my possible X values here, Brinker? Um, it can go from negative 2 to three. Yeah, so I'm going to write it with this compound inequality. X needs to be greater than negative 3, and it has to be less than or equal to 3. I, I forgot the or equal to when I said that. But yes, there are like points here, right? That point works, that point works. So on this circle, my domain, all possible x values, if you're thinking about that, that shaded thing that we did on Desmos yesterday, this would be like the shaded area of poss possible x values left to right. From negative 3 all the way to 3, we need to express that with a compound inequality. Molly, can you help me with the range on this one, please? Um, the range. Yeah. So all possible y values. Um, oh, if you, so the all possible y values has to be, I think it has to be either greater than negative 3 or less than 3. Correct. And make sure our variable is y here because that's telling us up and down, right? So I have to be above here, or it can be that, it can be that low, or it can be that high and below. Our shaded thing like the decimals would look like that yesterday, right? That's the range. So the only way to state these infinite answers here is through our compound inequalities. I hope you had some good breakout room uh, chatting. I'm just trying to pace us to make sure we have a, a good opportunity to get some homework started in class. Uh, so here, I listed the answers for the four that you just did in your breakout room, and I'm just going to walk us through it. I hope for number three, 
we can notice it goes forever left and right, also forever up and down. That's where we got all real numbers. For number four, it's going to go left and it's going to go right forever. However, our range, the highest it's going to go is five, but it'll also go everything lower than that. So y needs to be less than or equal to five for the range. For number five, my domain is going to go between negative one and five, and those points also work. So that's my left to right. My possible up and downs, it goes as low as negative three and goes as high as three, so that's where I got my range being between negative three and three, but those values working. And number six, it's gonna go left and right forever. It's gonna go up and down forever. Do we have any questions about three, four, five, or six from any of my friends out there in Zoom land? No questions, all right, cool. So, uh, I'll throw up on here next uh, the back page of those notes for you to practice. I'm going to put you back in those breakout rooms in just a moment. Uh, let me get it up on the screen for you, though. So I, I've got the key here for 7 through 10. Give you a, a moment to check it out with what you had gotten down. And, um, yeah, I'd like to know if anybody has any questions. I know it takes me. I think 9 and 10 were kind of hard to see. Here, let me highlight those lines. It was that vertical line and that horizontal line, if that helps. I'd like to know if anybody has any questions about anything on here. So you might notice I did not do an inequality for 9 and 10 because there's only one value that worked for the domain on 9 and the range on 10. All right. If you're ready for me to show the next four, please give me a thumbs up. Here's the next four. So you need to focus on here. Some of these that mattered, whether you had an or equals to or not in your symbols, right? Open dot means it does not work. It's just our reference point. So make sure the symbols are all correct, especially on 11 and 13. All right, and are there any of these that anybody would like to look over or chat about? Because there's going to be more of this on your homework tonight. I just want to make sure we're right for our homework. Uh, I see people still checking. Remember, not knowing something, that's good. That's an opportunity to learn. These ones look like a, more like our ones on Desmos yesterday, right? All right, last call for questions on these before I take it off the screen. Hope we got some good practice with these today. All right.